Okay, so there's already so after I turn back turn the monsters on for this village, uh, we've already experienced several zombie sieges, and this is going nuts. There's zombies everywhere. Welcome everyone. We're back with Minecraft Imperial Village, and guess what? The gods, well, what they believe to be their gods of the village empires, has given them protection. The Mighty Iron Golem of Gaka, or they like to call it the Mighty Iron Golem of Cavestone. And while we, you were gone, and I, w I was busy working on the village. That's right. I knew that no one would want to watch for hours on end of me just building pathetic, cute little houses like this one. So I decided to waste my precious time on this planet doing this. Working on more houses for the villagers. And oh my gosh, there's a third second iron golem. What if what is it? You know, buddy, I'm gonna have to kill you because you're in a house. Mama Maybe I can get him out of here like like this. For the love of God, no! We can't have any villagers run not having light. Okay. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on out of the house. Come on, Bucky. Come on. Get out. You're protectorate of this village. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Come on. Is this like... Okay, there we go. Now I put the doors back in. And guess what? No iron golems coming in there. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Get out! Go! Yes! Leave! I don't want you here anymore! My goodness. I am inside the Iron Golem. I am- repeat, I am inside the Iron Golem. No! Ugh, come on. Just out of the way! There's no reason you for be- to be there! No! Thank goodness. Okay. Now I can fix this door, and it's having a seizure. The doors are having seizures. There we are. Iron golems. But we also added this house. Pretty nice house. Let me just get this crap out of the inventory so I can have an empty hand. So, as you can tell, now that we have iron golems, these people need to have a religion now. They believe in the great stone entity. The stone entity is a powerful being of undulled power. And this power they, the, is great. The, they believe that the first god they created, that was created, was called the mighty the stone entity. Oh my god, there's wheat growing. See, look at this. They're actually being self-sufficient. And they're a great stone entity. Oh, this is going to be a hallway of doom. But the great stone entity believes in the mighty... And that they cre created this water and lava in the very beginning. And created all the stone in the world. And then they created many great things for the civilizations. For this civilization. And redstones, diamonds, and all the other ores. And then with redstone and coal, they made the trees and the animals. And then with redstone, diamonds, and coal, it created villagers. But some of these villagers were unbelievers. They were demons. They hunted down other villagers and killed them with mighty crossbows. And that is why they have been given the protectors, the Iron Golems. I want to name this guy. There's now two Iron Golems in this village. And this one's Jerry. Jerry, the, the um, crossbow crusher. And this one's Fluffy Butt. This one's Fluffy Butt, you know why? Because he's the cutest little Iron Golem ever! Yes, you were. Yes, you were. He's a good, good iron golem. 
But I also brought up all my richities, as you can see, from the underground. They don't know, the villagers don't know what this crap is yet. Except that they know it is viable. Wait, and then, we also just got our diamond. I renamed these diamonds. Oh my god. I can't replace- Oh my goodness. Darn, I was looking at these diamonds. I'll have to craft them into diamond blocks soon. Oh, they're all sleeping. Hey, buddy! Buddy! Guess what? There's like hundreds of free beds. Oh, look. Wait, we got our weaponsmith. We got a toolsmith. We got a farmer. So, yeah, let's count all our workstations. So we got a weaponsmith here. A cleric. These are all the jobs that our villagers can have. Um, we've got far two farmers. Um, I don't know what the anvil does, but it does something. Wait, I don't remember. We got another weaponsmith. Uh, I think it's kind of like a weaponsmith, the uh, eye anvil. But it's a no. I know they don't have eyes. It might be a toolsmith. I don't remember, but. Now they have a god to believe in. They're gonna need a church. A big church. The biggest church this world has ever seen. And guess what, punks? They're gonna get that darn church. Cause guess what? I'm wanna I wanna be I wanna be worshipped. I didn't build those iron golems. They spawned in. I actually did not build any iron golems. Cause I don't got the time nor the resources to care. This is now my food home, I guess. So, now this village is officially self-sustaining. Rumor has it, a new civilization has appeared on the far side of the world. Well, I don't know what that civilization is yet, but you know what I do know? Is that these guys are going to probably trade with Okay, I run! And the village's cave stone is now has a new friend. They are known as the Hog Riders of the Hog Riders, that's what their name is. It's a quite a beautiful village as you see. Obviously, naturally spawning, even though that house looks like a literal hut of pain. Yeah, I, I ran out of resources in the building of that hut. But, as you can see, it is come now, it has, it is a beautiful hill designed for crop farming and building a massive civilizations sprawling out over the massive fields that they call home. And of course, there are hogs, lots and lots of hogs, and horses, which will be needed to be terminated later due to one thing. Guess what? They are the hog riders, not the freaking horses horse riders. But as you can see, this village is a beautiful, beautiful place. What is this dude doing? We can't let him escape. Come here, buddy. Get in the boat. No? Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, that was happening with the other villager. He's trying to go back to the, the uh, main village that this all started from. And I guess this house isn't suitable. I guess it is a little small. Let me just try to extend it as much as I can with the limited resources that my this I love enchanted tools. This is amazing. Okay, there we are. There's that. And then the rest will be these blocks. Uh, they're not designed to look pretty. They're designed to be functional. Boom, that should be suitable for a house. If you like living in a shotgun shack. You know, I would rather live in a shotgun shack than this place. Uh, this, this, this. There we go! Oh, it's probably because there's no light in the house. Oh. There's no light in this house, though, right? For some reason, I feel like they're somehow connected up to cave stone. Because this guy keeps looking at the ground. Look at this. Watch. Come on, look at the ground. Look at the ground for you two. 
All right. You saw. Uh, he did. Oh my God. Ink. Okay. So where is this? Village? There's this villager. So let's see what he has to trade. He sells carrot. He wants to buy a carrot for food. This other guy, I don't think he sells really good food. Buddy, friendo, I'm sorry you're stuck in a boat. Oh, he's stuck. he wants potatoes. Sorry, buddy, this isn't a communist city. We don't own any potatoes. Shift, okay. Buddy, make, no, make your decision now. This village? I'm gonna make, you're gonna live in this village, I swear by it. I've torn down every single bed in the other village so they wouldn't mess with If you start running, I'm gonna have to throw this boat down. Can I put this boat in my offhand so I make sure that he doesn't run off? Yes, I can. Yes! Go to that horrible, horrible hut. Go to the hut of pain. Go to your- oh my gosh, they're in their beautiful home. I turned it on to peaceful mode until I actually can get some lighting in these houses so they don't monsters don't spawn and kill them in the night. But as you can see that wait, I think I had some coal in here. Oh, I didn't have any coal. Ah wait. These people don't mind, but they do have trees. They are better they have that on top of cave stone. So these people develop a new type of way of developing at, um, lighting systems. They chopped down trees and burned them. I'm actually gonna probably have, when I think when you think about it, it might look much better whenever I add like a cave, a, not a cave. I meant my words, a campfire to this village because it's kind of a, designed to look like that. This is the greatest village ever. So they they start cooking their stuff for fuel. For fuel. For fuel. Alrighty then, okay. Well, I guess we could burn these. Okay, so I'm used to the compute pocket edition and, well, um, bedrock edition. And you make composters, these guys, with, um, sticks and, uh, sticks and stuff. But in the comp in the, in the, in the bedrock edition, you use, you use, you know what you use? You know what you use to make these? Guess what? You use freaking fences. And who in their right mind would do that? Like, fences! No offense, Mojang, but please fix that. If you want to get parity between the versions, make it so that the composters are made with sticks or planks. But no, they're made by something weird. Um, my puppy was chewing on something. She's an angel, though. I love her. Let's make some sticks. And now we shift. See, this I just learned that you can shift click on the um, bat. But now, I can put these. Shift. Now that will look weird. So it's gotta look kind of random because it's an older civilization in a way. Boom, your house is lit up. I don't even want to grant this house light, because look at this. It's like, it's... But I have to if I want my villagers not to be eaten by... Their faces eaten off by monsters. And see, the thing is about this village is that... I have to build it in such a way where it's got crops everywhere. Like, just houses in the middle of the crops. It's not like crop, oh look, there's a house... It's not like, oh, there's a house, so I guess there's gonna be some crops nearby. No, it's just... It's just crops. Crops everywhere. E crops for, for days. That's gonna take forever. I think... I, I'm gonna make the flag... If I can... If I ever make a flag for the for any of these empires... The, the, a diamond hoe. This is... the di It's gonna be a diamond hoe for this village. I know, I know, I'm gonna actually get, like, a diamond hoe and everything for it. I know everyone's probably gonna start killing me because... 
Diamond toes are garbage. And I'm just gonna start randomly. So these guys have built this massive civilization based off of agriculture. Completely derived to produce food. Whereas Cave Stone is all about mining and, and farming. No farming for Cave Stone. Only, only mining for Cave Stone. And then, now that that's all done, I got, there's two types of crops that grow in Cave Stone. And, well, one, two types of crops that grow in Cave Stone, and in this world, carrots and wheat. And I'm going to break this wheat. And see, now i got nine seeds. And I go nuts with these seeds, right? Now, the, now those are all grown. As I ex this village expands outwards, this farm expands outwards, and I get more seeds to feed this ever-growing village. See, look at the, the the growth rate of seeds in this version must of of, of grass in this version must be tuned up to the max because in Pocket Edition you, there's not much grass ever anywhere. But now, but on this version it's just like. Oh, you want to have a nice, no grassy area? Ha! Huh. Forget that. You're just gonna have grass. Grass for days. Yeah, it's annoying. It really is. These carrots should grow faster. But everyone, the second civilization of Cave Stone. I'll turn on monsters in a second. See, well, guys, I'm gonna. Okay, so there's already so after I turn back turn monsters on for this village, uh, we've already experienced several zombie sieges, and this is going nuts. There's zombies everywhere. Uh, I mean, and there's skeletons. I'm gonna have to hide now. Make it to the night. Hey, buddy, enjoying yourself there? You better, cause this is a dangerous, horrifying, mutagenic hell pit. Enjoy your life while you can, because they're everywhere. The villager, the monster hunters. Oh my god, there's creepers out there. Um, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to live in this horrible shack the rest of my life? I see you out there. You're, I mean, like, it's gonna be intense, but these guys are probably gonna have most iron golems, because they're on the surface. Let me just come back out. Okay, I'm gonna go in the nicer shack. Cause this shack I like. I like this shack. This shack's at least got a crafting table. Yeah, I don't have any good resources on me, but I mean, that was my little brother being chased by my dad. Just, just saying, it's nothing. It's terrifying. Yeah, just see. Look at all this. We don't got much resources, but soon this village will be the biggest village ever. Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next week.